Okay, good morning, everybody. That's what I just made. Bananas, persimmon, fig, some almond butter. You can add honey, coconut nectar, agave, maple syrup. I'm gonna put some prunes in. They mush around nicely and give like a cool texture and sweetness. And then I will mix it up. Oh, I'll put in salt, of course. I always put in salt. We're gonna have a nice breakfast. And yeah, one day I decided to do almond butter and a little bit of almond milk, and that's kind of nice. I have hemp milk, so I will do that. So exciting. I just love making, um, I love making breakfast in my Airbnb, and I, the days that I, there were a couple days I didn't do it, and I felt different. So the tonics and the, here's the tonic. There. There's the breakfast, and here's the tonic, which I'm gonna heat up, and then I put some in this thermos so I can take to a friend. And Ishan is gonna be at my co work space, so. And I'll heat it up, put it in there. How beautiful is this morning? If, if people started their day like this, the world would be a better place. I can assure you that. All right, everybody, I'll see you um, today. I'm hoping to meet some people in from Belgium, and um, we'll see how, how it goes, but I'm definitely gonna go work at my co-work space to get some videos up here. Love you guys. Bon appétit. Okay, so the tonic is hot and creamy and chocolatey and coffee tasting with no coffee, no jitters. Um, go to my website to find out more about tonics. You can get the Intro to Tonics ebook, and if you want, you can get my Energy Tonic Blend. Look at those figs. I mean, what? <laughs> the colors. Um, there was a woman at Le Pisserie Vegetal. So she's a chef and she believes in eating a rainbow a day. And she told me she thinks that, she said, you look like you eat two rainbows a day. You're so shiny. So if you eat like this, it looks like that on the outside. Okay, bon appetit. Okay, so we're at the Place Vendôme and the sunlight, I was walking in the streets and I didn't notice it was sunny. And all of a sudden I was like, ah, it just hit me and it just feels so good to get the vitamin D. I definitely miss the sun in California. It starts to get to you a little bit. So for those of you who do live in a very gray climate, I'm kind of suggesting one of those sad lamps, those lamps that you can get to simulate, simulate. Um, for seasonal affective disorder because <laughs> I probably I would have it I think I feel for you guys but this is just such a moment of beauty at the Place Vendôme with Van Cleef and Arpels and Boucheron and Louis Vuitton and it's quite grand. I'll show you the other way. was totally right. The air is so much cleaner on the left bank, south of the Seine. Less cars, less traffic, more spread out. Look at that. It's so pretty. This has caught my interest. Coutier Fee, daughter's coutellerie. Cuttery, I guess. Cutting with knives. But I don't need a pocket knife, but I always like to see. Look at a Kyocera, a totally black one. I like that one. And these look beautiful. I'll have to look into Percival. <coughs> beautiful. Okay, we are. Where are we? Oh, we're on the Rue de, de, Rue de Petit Pere, the Rue of the Little Fathers. And it's cobblestone. And I love it. We're going to meet. Julie and Simon. They're from Belgium and they reached out to me. They're raw food chefs. So we'll go meet them together. Okay, so I'm very happy to say I forgot to tell you that I made it here. Not only did I make it here, but Julie and Simon are here and they're so incredibly lovely. I got so excited about our conversation. I forgot to share with you guys that I actually got here. So I'm going to turn the camera on the food and on them just for a moment because I want them to uh, enjoy their meal. But once again, this place has proven to be so heartwarming. Um, Alessandro and Alexandra are here 
over there and they warmly greeted me and now I'm going to introduce you to Julie and Simon. Yes. Here they are. Hi. Hi. Julie. Nice to meet you. Okay, I can't get both of you in the, in the shot, so I'm going to say okay. hi to you first. Hi. And is there anything you want to say? There's plenty. Plenty to say. Um, I'm really excited to meet Dara. I've been following her on YouTube for about four years, um, even before I went to Living Light to become a raw food chef. And uh, yeah, it's an honor to meet her, so I'm really okay. happy. I'm so happy. We'll just do an introduction now, and then I'm going to get some more information okay. about, about like this. There's a whole book. Look at that, so you guys can get it um, in this language. <laughs> and can they follow you on anything? Yes. Where can they follow you? You can follow me on YouTube. Okay, um, good. On Julie's Lifestyle. Julie's Lifestyle. Where okay. you can have a <laughs> weekly. This is Simon. Hello. Okay. Yes. If you subscribe to our uh, newsletter, you get a weekly new recipe. Oh, yes, we're going to do uh, that. Julie'sLifestyle.com. Julie'sLifestyle.com. Yeah. All right, let's eat and then I'll catch okay. whatever you want to say after. Bon appetit. Okay, the base is, this is granola, it's all good. I don't know why no one thought of that name before. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, what is it? It's a sprouted buckwheat, yes. raw cacao, uh, dates to sweeten, and then some vanilla for the flavor. Yes. And some almond butter. Oh, and can people buy this online? Uh, yes, but Not at yet. the moment in Belgium, the Netherlands, okay. and we are coming to France. Okay, we want you to come to France, and definitely um, I'm going to think of places. Okay, let's see. And then we've got a vanilla coconut oh. granola. Wow, and just add some nut milk, and that's gorgeous, yeah, and some and fruit. Some fruit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't want to cover her face. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then a savory snack as well. Oh, rosemary crackers. I'm so excited. You can't they need these here in France because yeah. they don't have no they, they to don't go to have the co-op and oh, we went to a few now today and there was little no. kale chips and there's like nothing. Seriously. No, chocolate. I can I'm gonna come up with a list of places that I think should have them. Yes I will. Have to meet up again. Yeah. We are going to catch the train but I would love to meet Dara again and we'll see if that happens. <laughs> I think it's going to happen. It's yeah, just a matter yeah. of when, please, right? Please stay in Europe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Anything you want to say to our big YouTube family? Oh, bye. Bye everybody. <laughs> okay, not only was the food delicious, Oh my gosh, the company was so delightful. I really want to give a shout out, obviously, to Julie and Simon, which we'll post their link below, but also to Indetox We Trust, Cafe Pinson. There's three of them. We are now in the third, troisième arrondissement, and it's so worth a visit. They're open till 10, so for a vegan option restaurant, um, most of them close early, so this one is open till 10. We're very lucky. It's cozy and warm and delightful. I'd love you guys to try it. And if you do come, ask for Alessandro. He's a man, Alessandro. Or ask for Alexandra. Um, they're both so lovely. Um, and I don't know the, my waitress's name. I'm gonna ask next time. Okay, so here we go. I'm walking home, 18 minutes home. Okay, so I want to discuss the idea of not labeling ourselves. I mean, if you have to, by all means, go ahead and do it. If you need to call yourself uh this or uh that. But I will stand firm in the fact that I am me and I eat this way. So that could go for the rest of your life. I am me and I choose to eat this way. So I never liked being called a raw foodist because I'm me. I just happen to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So yes, sometimes I will tag vegan in Paris just because it gets the attention and shows that you can eat vegan in Paris. If you choose to eat honey and somebody wants to say you're not vegan, well then you're a vegan if they have vegan. If you have to call yourself something, but I, I stand firm in that everybody is different and there is no one diet that suits everybody. Yes, do we want to be compassionate, kind to animals? Do I want to bite into an animal? No. Do I want to eat one? No. But that doesn't mean I don't love people who do. So I think the first thing is about um, compassion for everyone, including the animals. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. 
love you guys and I'm headed home to my little Airbnb and today's the day I'm deciding I told Julie and Simon I'm deciding if I'm going to stay longer I don't know I kind of want to have my birthday in Paris it's December 28th so by the time you see this video I will have decided I guess right above this I'll put a title and let you know what I decided <laughs>